Hello, I am so thrilled because as you know, whenever I get to have a chance with the glasses on, <laughs> I'm telling you a little bit more about our wonderful members. I am Jacqueline and I'm the founder of Discover Love Matches. And I am really, really feeling super eager, <laughs> inspired, excited to get you excited about participating in our events. I know it's so hard to put yourself out there and show up to an event, whether it's virtual or it was our in-person events that we used to do. It's scary to be the one to say, hi, I'm single and I want to meet somebody cool. So I get it. I know it's a scary thing. And I also know that many of you want to meet in person and you want to wait for all these wonderful in-person events. Well, in our crazy wild world, this isn't going to happen for some time. And I just... I don't want people to keep waiting. I keep getting messages from people saying, I put dating on hold, I'm not doing this, I, I'm not meeting people, I'm just gonna wait. Well, life is short, life is precious, and that's probably one of the big lessons that I'm gaining in this entire process is just slowing down and pausing and hearing our own thoughts and really listening to what matters is, is important. And this is our chance to step it up, do more. And that's why I've created our How to Be Your Own Matchmaker course so that you can be learning and growing along. This is why our system is based all on membership because we really want engaged individuals. I want people to meet those people that actually want to date, actually want to find that relationship. What happens so often is people are, as I refer to, tire kickers. They just kind of peek in, peek out. And my clients that are at the higher level don't want to meet somebody who's not invested. They don't want to meet somebody who doesn't really care, who isn't actually showing up, who's just kind of thinking that it, it doesn't really matter, that they'll just find their person whenever. They want somebody who's invested in their own success. So I want you to become more aware of the people that you can meet. But of course, my events are only as good as the people that join in and support what I'm creating. It doesn't matter how fabulous of a host I am. What matters is that people join us because that adds to our conversation, the people that are positive and uplifting. And I get to hear new stories. So of course, you're on the top of my mind if I get to learn more about you. But also, everybody in the group gets to hear about you. And I've been receiving a bunch of messages asking me if people are even wanting to date. Like, is this even happening? How to do this? How to create this space? And when you're on our site, discoverlovematches.com, there is a section that says video advice. And I have added a bunch of videos. And I can tell you that all the people that are showing up for events, all the people that have been signing up to be a member, they want to date. They don't want to keep waiting. And so you could be missing somebody amazing if you just keep putting this joy on hold. You keep putting this opportunity to meet somebody amazing on hold. Like this is your life. And we don't know where this pandemic is taking us, but I can definitely say that there is a heightened increase of people wanting connection, compassion. They're wanting more authentic relationships. They're not wanting to just get the hookup because you can get that on a, any kind of dial a date site. They're wanting more. They're wanting people that are willing to show up. Now, I'm not saying to put yourself in an unhealthy situation or push your comfort level. But what I am saying is that when you meet somebody through our agency, these are the people that are showing up real. These are people I know. These are people that have been a part of our program, some for a long time, some are newer, but this is different than just a scrolling list of random people on a dating app. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about some of the people that have attended past events. So this is really, really fun, obviously, because I love what I do, and I get to talk about my amazing people in our group. So I'm just going to tell you a splash of things. This gentleman is in his 20s from Portland. His top five words that describe him as caring, genuine, hardworking, energetic, and personable. And then I'm going to scroll back, a little dance of the computer here, and tell you about this wonderful lady. She's in her 40s, and she is in the Portland area also. She has her five words that describe her as dynamic, smart, creative, straightforward, sincere, and a bit sassy. Love it. And let me tell you about another person that's joined our events recently. This lady just turned 40 and she is, let's see, scroll down. 
her top five words is compassionate, intelligent, optimistic, easygoing, happy. And she is such a great gal and lives in the Beaverton area. Uh, you can definitely count on her for wine tasting, just so you know, when you guys meet. And then get the next person here. And a lot of these that I'm telling you about, they actually come to regularly, are part of our meetings, our events. And um, this guy's from Canby, and he just turned 50. And his five words is honest, loyal, dependable, adventurous, witty. And let me get the next one. This is so much fun. I get so excited when I get to see all the wonderful people at our events. And this gal is, she also just turned 40. And her top five words of description for her is da -da -da, loyal, bubbly, reliable, friendly, compassionate. And she's from Milwaukee. And this guy, he's always funny. Whenever he registers, he always puts that he's like 103 years old, which he is not. <laughs> he just turned 50 also. And he's top five words. Um, he's from Vancouver, Washington. He's outgoing, fun, inquisitive, dependable, and hilarious. He does enjoy his sense of humor. <laughs> he adds a lot to the group. And then, come on, computer. <laughs> This uh, guy is um, in his mid 40s and he is da -da -da, from Portland. And his top five words is funny, smart, analytical, engaging, and honest. And he says, in no particular order. He's awesome. Very, very great guy. He's been wonderful with our events. Over the years, it's so neat to get to know everybody so well and learn more about them and really build a fun relationship. This awesome guy is in his 50s and he ha he's Oregon City and he's, his words is fun, la la fun, laughing, caring, cuddle, active, and driven. He is so much wonderful energy totally compassionate, definitely connects with people on an individual level, but also adds a ton of positive energy to our events. So we love it when he joins. He is a regular and he's somebody that you get to know as you are part of the group. And that's one of the things that I think is really neat. As much as I want to give you your magic person in one event, which has happened so many times, it also sometimes takes coming a handful of times because you see the person over and you get to strike up another conversation, learn a little bit more. I've had people that have met multiple times at events and then like five, six times later, they're like, hey, we should go out and now they're a couple. So it's just, we all grow and learn and communicate and connect and chemistry sparks happen at different paces. So just keep that in mind. This lady is a great gal. She is in her early 50s and she is uh, Oregon City, and her top five words is positive, inquisitive, personable, funny, supportive, and then let's see who else we've got on here. We've got so many people. It's wonderful. This gal is awesome. She was referred from another one of our wonderful ladies, and she's in her early 40s. She's from Portland. Her Five words is ambitious, silly, trusting, loving, curious. Gosh, let's see who else we've got. We've just, it's, it's so many people. I just love it. I'm so honored and privileged to work with the best of the best singles. And people that genuinely are showing up and wanting more. All right, this lady is in her 30s. And her area is Portland. Her top five words is affectionate, loyal, funny, and supportive. Let's check more events. Oh, they just, there's so many great people. I'm trying to just kind of make sure I don't repeat anyone in here. And then let's see, we had a super fun big party here just recently, right before this crazy pandemic. We had so many wonderful people and it was just crazy that we could used to get together, but now we have to do it virtually, which is great. You can't catch anything. You can't get anybody's calls while you're hanging out with any of us on a virtual event. So that's a positive. All right. This guy is awesome. He is 6'3". He is in his 30s. He's from Hillsborough. His five words is fun, energetic, weird, spontaneous, and mysterious. 
And let me tell you about another person. Um, oh, he's an awesome guy. He's in his 30s and he is uh, Salem, Oregon. And he is nice, fun, outgoing, shy, and cool. All righty, we got so many good people. I just, I love my people that we get to work with. Oh, she's been to events a lot. I told you about her, I told you about him. Um, oh, here's another guy I've told you about yet. He is awesome. He is from Portland. His five words is educated, foodie, entrepreneur, affectionate, and good communicator. That's awesome. And he is in our 60s plus group. And let's see who else. Uh, try not to repeat people I told you about in other other uh, videos. So I'm trying to make sure I cover all of them. This guy is in his 30s. He's from Lake Oswego. And computer will tell me magic. All right. His five words is passionate, caring, loving, kind, and determined. He is. He's awesome. I love it. He is so ready for relationships. So ladies looking for a great guy in the 30s are going to be lucky when you find him. And this gal is in her mid 40s. She's a beautiful lady. And she's also been great at just bringing wonderful people to our event, encouraging people to be a part of what we do. And I think that's one of the coolest things. I just so appreciate people that participate and are part of everything. You know, the more that I get to spend time with you, the better I can promote you to other people. This guy's in his 30s and he's got da -da -da, his five words. Well, he's from Vancouver. His five words is patient, a little ambitious, adventurous, relaxed, and passionate. Oh gosh, that's great. And then... All right, I'm not gonna tell you about every single person that's come to events because we've got a ton, but I'm gonna tell you about a few more because these are such great people. And all right, this lady is awesome. Full of life, tons of energy, totally a blast. She too likes to go wine tasting. She is in her 50s, she's from Tigard, and her five words is funny, active, outgoing, she is so not shy, and she loves her two daughters. That is awesome. And let's see what else we got here. Oh, she is wonderful. And if you want to go dancing, this is the lady to ask. She is Portland area. She's in, she just turned 50 actually. She's petite, 5'2. And her five words is gregarious, kind, energetic, empathetic, and a good listener. She's genuine. She's the real deal. I just adore her. And this guy is awesome. He's in his later 30s, and he actually has just had a massive fitness transformation. So ladies, you want to check out this stud. He's awesome. He lives in Hillsboro. He is funny, romantic, sensitive, humble, and selfless. So true. He is a very, very good guy, and he's originally from Canada. All right. Then I'm going to tell you about, oh, I sure I told you about her. Let me tell you about this wonderful lady who's referred from another friend of mine. She is in her early 60s. She's from Portland. She has her five words as thoughtful, kind, curious, happy, and smart. She is. She added so much energy to our event. I just think it's great when people come in and they contribute and add to our group. This guy is awesome. He is in his 30s. And he is from Tualatin, and he is honest, caring, fun, loving, faithful, and giving. And he came to one of our dancing events that we had a total blast. He had the biggest smile on his face, dancing away. It was so much fun. So ladies, if you like to dance, you want to ask him out for sure. Oh, I already told you about her. Oh, this guy is awesome. And he actually won our contest at one of our parties. Um, he is in his 50s. He's from Portland. He's driven humorous, playful, intelligent, and empathetic. He's a great guy, 5'10", and he's like dark blue eyes in his description. I love how you guys talk about yourselves and help us get visuals. All right, so let's see who else I can tell you about. 
you know, you just got to show up for our event so that you get a chance to meet these amazing people. That's the big thing. Like when you show up and you participate, we can tell people about you. We can have a lot more to share, more to interact. Uh, this guy, he's in his mid forties. He still needs to get all his profile stuff updated. So I can't share a ton about him yet, but I'll have more to share next time. And oh, this lady is awesome. She is amazing and serious hard worker is so ready for the love of her life and just ready for this. As she says, she's ready for the second half of this life journey of hers. She's from Washuba, Washington, and her five words are passionate, witty, spontaneous, loving, and fearless. And she is early 50s. She looks gorgeous. She is aged beautifully. <laughs> and oh, I already told you about her. And oh, let me tell you about this great guy. He is very fun, very just charismatic, wonderful conversation. He just intermingled with everybody so nicely. He's from Beaverton. His five words is outgoing, adventurous, open-minded, reliable, and easygoing. And he is in his early 50s. And let's see who else. Oh, she's super fun. She is in her 40s and super, super sweet. She is from Portland, enthusiastic, nurturing, adventurous, curious, health conscious. Um, really, really nice gal. Super great at playing games. She jumps right in. I love it when people join in all the creations that I put together. All right. Oh, we have so many good people. I'm so excited to tell you about everybody. I just want to make sure I don't double up. All right. And this lady is beautiful and wonderful. I've actually known her for many years. I knew her from a previous career I had. So it's been really fun to reconnect. That's what's neat is that I know my people and some I know even longer than I've been in business. This beautiful, gorgeous lady is from Gresham. And she describes herself as happy, friendly, and outgoing. And she is in her 60s. And she is so ready to meet somebody wonderful. She just has a beautiful life. She loves golf, reading, journaling, and knitting. Happy, happy times for sure. She's just beautiful. And let's see who else. All right. Sometimes the computer doesn't want to move as fast as me. All right. This guy's in his early 40s. He is wonderful. He always comes in with such a zest and energy. Just great guy. He's Lake Oswego area. He's a confident, positive, lead, gentle, and sense of humor. Very, very cool. He's, he's a great guy. So it's always kind of fun to re-remember what people say about themselves and their profiles because I know them beyond their profiles. All right. This gal is super sweet. Very beautiful. She's in her... I want to make sure I say it right. Yep, she's in her early 30s. She is from Portland, and her words is fun, silly, nurturing, passionate, and communicative. All right. I just keep going and going and going, don't I? All right, let's see who else I got. I'm going to tell you a couple more people. I'm going to have to do this in a few videos. There's just so many great people that show up. But you'll only know if you show up, too. That's the whole thing. That's the catch. You got to actually show up and participate for us to be able to tell people about you. And this guy is great. He definitely was super good at doing the game fun. And he is from Hillsboro. And he's got, he's got to still add some more to his um, profile, but he is definitely, he's uh, with mergers with Intel. So that is awesome. And he is in his thirties and who else we've got on here some people do more on their profiles than other people so it always helps the more that you do the more i can promote you all right i think those are the main ones from that event let's see i think i told you about quite a few people i'm just like we have so many great people so i want to just encourage you and challenge you to push yourself the great thing about our virtual events is that You'll always meet somebody new, even if you've come in the past, even if it's been months since you came or you're becoming one of our regulars. I can say it pays off to be a regular because you get first acknowledgement when there's a new person that joins. You become more comfortable with this. I continue to learn more about you. It's a lot of people in my group to know so that whenever you can stand out a little extra and you can say something more, 
it is definitely to your advantage. As my higher level clients hire me to look for people, of course I read through the profiles, but the people that are participating the most are gonna be the people that I'm going to promote to you and tell them about. It's really about you participating in your own success. You show up, you get loved up, and you also increase the chances of so much more happening because you are putting yourself in that vulnerable place and saying you're ready to find love. So who are you going to meet at the next event that we have? Make sure you go to discoverlovematches.com and then there's a tab for events. Now, if you're not a member, you do need to select a membership level. We have three to choose from. All of our membership levels are a one-time registration fee, and then you don't have to worry about renewing it as long as you stay active. And then you are set. You can then pick the membership level, select it, and then you can sign up for events. If you are already an active member, just log in and register because I'm doing this for you. Now, until next time, we'll continue this conversation because I am so excited for all the sparks that will be flying with all of our great people. Thanks for listening. I look forward to hearing about your love story in the making.